Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 54 of Direwolf20's Age of Engineering series. As you may be able to guess based on the clicking that I just did, I uh, am putting things in the wrong spot. You don't go in there. You don't go in there at all. You go in here. Uh, yeah, input hatch. Boop, 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 bop, bop. Nice. Wow. I'm gonna need more input hatches on you. Yeah. Uh, I did a little bit of moon mining between episodes. Decided to get myself a healthy amount of dilithium. Um, spent maybe 15 minutes over there. Dilithium is extremely common on the moon. Um, and it also helps that, you know, when you drop it into a crusher or whatever, you get double uh, dilithium. So I got maybe four or five stacks of dilithium while I was out there. Um, got us a ton of dilithium dust, meaning we are going to now have lots of dilithium crystals, uh, which are cooking up as we speak. So uh, already got that cooking and yeah, even more crystals coming, yeah. Beautiful little animation going on there. Sweet. Unfortunately, it renders that it's like making three at a time, but it really only makes one at a time, which is kind of a bummer because it's really kind of, it's, 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 it's not the slowest machine I've got, but it's slow. Um, and I don't know that there's any way to speed up those machines. Um, so I think I kind of gathered when speaking to, to Davquist, the guy who made the pack, how this um, advanced rocketry is. So there's a, a, a stable quote unquote version of advanced rocketry that we have here. And then there's like a, like a, like an in-dev or a beta. I don't know if it's even really beta anymore, but there's like another version of advanced rocketry that has like the different types of um, coils and the, and the different speeds for machines and a couple other things. And he basically said like, he purposely is using this version because that one, he wasn't able to do some of the progression stuff that he wanted to do. Um, so that all said, uh, we've got some stuff to do today, don't we? We have a space station to go visit, uh, preferably to take to Mars. That's what I kind of want to do. Now, I'm not sure how the whole going to Mars things works. Um, I actually don't know. I probably should have tested this on camera. Um, but my, my suspicion, and again, I might be wrong about this, but there's two ways this could go down, right? Either we could fly the space station from Earth orbit and it like gets me to Mars and then I'm on Mars with the space station. Or it puts me in orbit around Mars and then I need to take a rocket down to Mars. And if that's the case, then we absolutely wanna make sure that our rocket here is on the space station when we warp to Mars, right? Does that make sense? Um, so what I think I should do is make sure that I've got some rocket fuel with me uh, when we go to Mars. Is that, I, I feel like that's a smart smart process my brain's going through right now. Like it's, it makes sense. Cool, here's my, so what, what's this? This is a uh, hydrogen, 16 millibuckets of liquid hydrogen. This was hydrogen as well. Where's my oxygen container? Oh, I remember, I did something with it. Uh, tank, 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 tank. Let's make ourselves a new tank. I don't know, I lose track of my items and whatnot. Uh, so this was oxygen, this was hydrogen. Let's put this hydrogen tank away and let's make a whole new set of tanks for hydrogen and oxygen. Does that sound smart? Um, so what I'll do is just you and you and we'll configure you for pulling. We'll configure you for pulling. And at some point I'll pipe or something like that, but long story short, I wanna get more hydrogen oxygen over here so I can make more rocket fuel. Does that sound like kind of a smart idea? So we'll let this stuff cook, right? He's doing his electrolyzing. Nice. That should actually fill up these tanks. Uh, I've got enough rocket fuel to get, presumably from my space station to Mars and back, which is what I'm gonna to wanna to do. Um, so here's what my order of operations will be. If I'm right in that we need to take our rocket from the space station to land on Mars, which is where our destination is today, then what I'm gonna wanna do is take the rocket to the space station, then take the space station to Mars orbit, then take the rocket down to Mars, then get a matter receiver, boom, and a power cell, boom, and plant those on Mars with maybe some kind of little base going on, who knows? I've got wireless access to my whole system, so I should be able to do whatever I want from there, right? Um, and then we will take our rocket back to the space station. Is anything sitting in here? No, so let's make, it doesn't really matter. Actually, yeah, let's put you on top. 
right? And then you can output down. And then um, I'll probably leave the space station in Mars orbit until we're ready to go to the next planet. Does that sound like kind of a plan? I'm hoping that I'm right about this. So let's prepare for our trip to Mars. I'm going to make sure that I'm space suited up, ready to go. And uh, we've got hydrogen and oxygen. We can breathe and all that stuff. This is my oxygen charge pad. So just filling up my gas a little bit. And uh, we've got a matter receiver. We've got a power cell, which is ready and full of power and ready to go. Uh, we've got dilithium crystals to get to Mars. I think we've got everything we need, and if I'm forgetting anything, wireless crafting terminal, right? So let's teleport up to our satellite of love. Dial once. Bum -ba -da -dum. No, I don't want to teleport up to the satellite of love. Um, I want to rocket up to the satellite of love. Right. I just got done explaining that that's what I want to do, and then I didn't do it. So I want to make sure that we have... We need three trips worth of fuel, right? Um... Earth to space station, space station to Mars, and then I want to get the rocket back up to the space station, so Mars back up to the space station. So I technically need a little bit more um, fuel than I currently have. So let's actually get some buckets. I'm actually going to get 16 and stick them in here. So that should be enough fuel for both directions. And worst case, I can advance charge border back to wherever I'm, I need to be. All right, so let's blast off. So destination is the space station, right? Boop, boop, boop. Now I don't know if I need like a planet chip or something, but we'll figure this out. Um, so uh, yeah, we want to select destination and just, uh, okay, go destination space station. We got everything? I think we got everything. I will come back as soon as we're on the space station. Okay. Landing on the space station. Remember, this was kind of uh, designated as our little landing platform there, and it looks like it's doing a good job. So now, uh, in theory, what I want to do is um, put my dilithium into this input hatch. Cool. Look at you. Wow. Fancy. Look at that stuff, huh? Um, I guess this is our fuel level? Sweet. And the warp cost is only 83 now. Probably... Um, because of our relative position in space, right? So there's, oh, look at all this stuff, Jupiter, Saturn, wow. So as the solar system turns, I guess, like, our proximity to the planets relate to how much fuel we're going to use. That's kind of cool that he, the, the, the mod author for this mod, went ahead and did that. So it looks like a stack fills up the fuel. Uh, current fuel cost is 81. So I assume that when we activate this, we're going to start warping. And uh, I don't know what that's going to look like. I have not done this before. Uh, I have purposely made it a point to, uh, you know, not, let's do this, 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 and this, just so this looks a little bit nicer. I've purposely made it a point not to test this on camera, or off camera, because I want to see what it looks like for the, I like, that, that, that's awesome. I want to see what this looks like on camera, and get, like, an actual reaction for you guys, and I'm like, wow, that's cool. All right, uh, so should we warp to Mercury? Uh, again, confirming we have advanced charge porter to get home if we need to. Power cells and matter receivers. Let's do it. Boom. Orbiting space. Are we in warp now? Oh, cool. Look, we're actually warping. Hey, that was cool. We're here. Hey, we're on, uh, we're in, we're in, we're in orbit. That, that was fast. Did not take long. What's our, uh, so we've got 57 dilithium yet. Yeah, that's cool, right? Currently orbiting, nowhere to go, fuel cost one. Neat, select planet. Now if I wanted to, I could get back to Earth. That is, that is spiffy. That is super spiffy. So now what I have to assume is that, right, space to take off, destination Mercury. I was right about this. I guessed correctly. So if I wanna land on Mercury now, I just blast off with my space station and uh, we will launch into Mercury's orbit. So I will be back as we land on Mercury. Oh, we're coming in for a landing on Mercury. This is exciting. Nice. You should be able to see the ground any second now. There it is, beautiful. So guess what I discovered? There's monsters on Mercury. I don't know why, but that is not cool. And it's actually really hard to fight in low gravity.
This is something I'm learning. Alright, so that should be good. Can I get out of here? Alright, ideally, if I did everything correctly. Ow, 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 ow. Poisoning. Do I see mercury? Yeah, nice. So I should be able to dial that up. Beautiful. That should be cool. All right, enough. Good enough. We got a thing there. Uh, so I want to get my, my rocket back up to the space station, but this is at least enough. So one thing that drives me nuts is I can't actually see my current health uh, with this overlay. So I'm going to remove this atmospheric analyzer here. And yeah, I can see my health again. Not that it was a problem until now. <laughs> um, so here's what I did off camera real quick I crafted an aversion obelisk an octodic capacitor and a few empty soul vials we're going to go travel to Mercury we're going to capture the souls of some nasty dudes that are out there and uh, dial once be ready to teleport home in the event of an emergency but at least I've got my matter receiver out there which means I can get to and from easily right so let's get a witch and a zombie and a spider and get you guys to leave me alone for a sec would be great. It's harder than it looks to fight in low gravity, guys. I'm just putting that out there. Uh, what is the usage of this power? 720 RF a tick? Should not be a problem. All right, so uh, we've clearly had... <laughs> I, I landed on the planet and I was like, why are there monsters here? And they were immediately attacking me. So I scrambled to make this little thing and they were able to hit me through the walls. So that wasn't ideal. Uh, so I got skeleton, or I got zombie, witch, and, um, zombie, witch, and spider, right? So let's get an enderman. Let's get a skeleton here. A creeper. And hopefully this will help prevent mobs from spawning a little bit. So in theory now, there should be less mobs available to spawn. Is there any mob type I'm missing? We've got six going on here. Right? Creeper, Enderman, Spider, Zombie, Witch, Skeleton. I think that's cool. So let's, like, teleport home now? We'll give it a minute. We'll see if they despawn because I'm no longer in the dimension. Uh, and then we'll kind of go from there. Don't put your wireless crafting terminal in there, Dire Wolf. That's not a good place for it. Cool. Um, and we should have sufficient power flow. So, reminder that this is hooked up to the solar cell in the mining dimension. So it is getting power from our solar array. If this thing gets sufficiently low, you will be out of power and probably struggling to main power in that aversion obelisk. But hopefully that's not a big deal. Also, it's not chunk loaded over there. Also, I can look at this aversion obelisk. What do I got? Six mobs in there? So I think that's a fair amount. Okay. Uh, so let's get some bricks real quick just to build like uh, a really basic kind of like here's a structure for us i mean obviously a simple nine by nine is what i'm making and that's you know because obvious right we don't need a fancy base out on mercury we just need you know a place to rest our feet that are wary uh so yeah creepers made a little bit of a mess down here that's neat though oxidized something or other. Um, man, I'd like more of this stuff. Whatever this material is, it breaks easily. So that's cool. Uh, did I bring a builder's wand? I did. Sweet. So let's just like clean up this creepery mess. That should be good for now. Uh, you think torches work here? That's a question to which I do not know the answer. I'm going to assume no, because I'm going to assume that, you know, for the same reasons that it doesn't work on. Oh, torches do work here, cool. Well, that's neat. Kind of feel like glowstone would be better anyway, though. Just get a dozen glowstone ready to go. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's map this out. One, two, three, four here. 
one, two, three, four here. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, seven. That would be that. Cool. So this will be your basic nine by nine structure. Again, I'm not making a fancy base on Mercury. I'm making a place that I can, you know, just have to teleport to and not be exposed to the open environment. No idea, by the way, if those CO2 scrubber things work, but we will uh, investigate that. Does that look like a decent enough-ish amount of base? Hopefully it's not too dark on this planet for you guys. And now hopefully that's enough light for you. Uh, and glass, we should probably get some glass. And a chisel. Isn't it cool that I made this wireless doohickey? Just a simple base. We don't, like I said, need anything too fancy here. Just something that I can like, you know, call, call home. So uh, let's put ineffable glass here because we might want to eventually have some kind of oxygen based distribution for all my remote bases. And that'll be good, right? So this should be an enclosed room and we could now put you know, oxygen here. What is this stuff? Oxidized ferric sand. So all it is is a block. It doesn't look like it has any fancy uses. Um, but yeah, that's cool. And let's name this properly, Mercury. Um, sweet, we have, a, we have a base. Now Mercury, there was a particular metal that we were here to get. From Age of Engineering, we've got Space Age. Uh, mercury is the name of the metal, right? That's correct, right? You get Mercury from Mercury. So Mercury ore is found below Y level 13, it looks like. Below 17, or above 17, you're not gonna find it. So it will be 16 and below. And your best chance of finding it is right around, it looks like, 13 and below. So 13 and below is your highest chance of finding it. Um, neat. So I might do like I did on Mar or on the moon, which is just dig a hole straight down with my five by five and get down to the bottom Y level, right? And we'll just kind of see what uh, what is waiting for us down there. So let's clean up inventory for a sec. Um, you guys can go away. You guys can go away. That looks cool. This can go in here. I don't even know why I have this little linker in here. I don't think I need that at the moment. And you two can go away, as can the soul vials. That should be cool. All right. So let's um, go back to Mercury and see what we find when we start digging around. Now, my high-level plan for this whole environment that I'm playing around in is as follows. Um, I will dig down to the bottom of the earth, right? And we can teleport our way up or advance charge port, it doesn't matter. Remember, kids, don't dig straight down in Minecraft. <laughs> um, I want to basically establish a base on each planet, get a handful of each material type that I need, and then we'll progress to the next age and we will start to learn quickly um, which of those materials we need a lot of versus not as much. So I'm imagining that some materials we're just going to need a whole ton, right? Um, at some point, we may... So I've got two options, basically. I can either use my space station to travel to another solar system and head to another planet on another solar system. And once we get there, one of those planets will have all four metal types, but in lower quantities. Or... If it turns out that only like one of the metal types, like let's say we need a whole bunch of zirconium, but cadmium, tantalum, and mercury we don't need as much of, right? Whichever planet has zirconium, we'll set up an automated mining system on. If we need a decent amount of all four metals, we might go to a solar system outside of our solar system, find a planet, and set up a quarry on that, because that planet should have every type of metal. Does that sound cool? So that's like our high level plan for how I'm going to get ores for this pack, right? Because um, we only need, you know, non-Earth ores, right? Because our, our, our void miner is establishing that we're getting everything else that we need. Cool. And for dilithium, dilithium will either be... Is this mercury that I'm finding, by the way? 
Or is it some other metal? Bauxite ore. Uh, mercury ore. Yes, I am getting mercury ore. Yay! So let's go down to like Y level 6, right? Because I said um, mercury. Mercury is best found at Y level 13. So if I mine at 6 and it's 5 above, I think I should be cool, right? So if I mine in this direction, this is your best bet for finding mercury because it's, you know, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there's probably mercury ore right there. Yeah, mercury ore from base metals. Beautiful. So we've got our first bits of mercury. What we do with mercury, I'm still not 100% clear on, like what it's used for. I'm just going by the guide saying you're going to need metal from all four planet types. Cool. So there is the foundation of a mining system. And uh, in theory, I can get some torches here. So yeah, apparently torches work on mercury. Maybe there's enough atmosphere. I took my atmospheric analyzer out. Um, let's pop home. Now I'm kind of curious, like, what the atmosphere on Mercury is. I wonder if there's, like, a hotkey for enable, disable that. That would be cool. Um, options, controls. So, open rocket or toggle jetpack. Those are the only controls for... So, okay. Good to know. So, what is the atmospheric type on Mercury? Let's see. Mercury, dial once. I didn't give it a funny name because I was trying to not die. Oh, look at this. Yeah, uh, air at 1.5 ATM. So Mercury has a breathable atmosphere? Well, look at that. That is interesting. Mercury has a breathable atmosphere. Today I learned. <laughs> it's a little bit higher atmospheric pressure. Um, the gravity is not as low as the moon, but it's definitely lower. Um, that's cool. So I... Didn't even need this spacesuit on Mercury. I assumed I did, but I could wear my normal armor for Mercury. That is cool. Um, but speaking of normal armor, let's put our spacesuit back on because the next stage of uh, this mission will be to send our rocket back up to our space station. So uh, let's make sure that we've got our rocket fuel ready to refuel this bad boy, and I will see you guys back up on the space station. So Mercury base established. All right, so we're back in Mercury's orbit. Uh, I'm coming in for a landing on the space station, right, with my rocket. Uh, what I want to do next is I'm going to teleport back to my main base, get more dilithium crystals, okay, maybe more rocket fuel, and we're going to choose another planet to visit. Um, does that sound like a plan? And the other thing we're going to want to do is make sure that we have a matter receiver for that planet. So let's cook up a matter receiver. May or may not have enough stuff for this. I am short on basic capacitors. What I usually do for basic capacitors when I'm getting low on them is I come down here and I say basic capacitor, repeat run, and that will just create basically a stack of basic capacitors using UU matter. And are you still cooking? Your output is full. Nice. I assume. Or it was getting close to full. Hey, we've got dilithium crystals aplenty. Let's get some more dust. I know I have. Um, we'll just get one more stack of crystals. Just keep this thing going. Because it takes so long to actually make. At some point I'll figure out how to automate this dude. So that got me up to 60, close to 60. And we'll just get the full stack in there. And then what I usually do is just click single run at the end. So now it's not running anymore. And there's a stack of capacitors. Sweet. So if I want a matter receiver, next. Don't we have missing machine frame? Haha, -ha, there's a problem. One machine frame, and then we're good to go. Again, not sure how to automate the matter replicator, dude. So we'll get our matter receiver start. While that's cooking, um, I should also work on another one of those power cells. So that I can craft off camera. I didn't set up automation around those, but I'm starting to think I should. Power cell? I could probably teach it. Um, teach it most of this. Because I'm going to want one for every planet, so I might as well get around to teaching this. Um, so basically what I'm doing is a regular power cell, which is this. So let's get some redstone. 
Do you know how to make redstone blocks yet? Uh, no. But now you do. I should be putting some of this stuff into, like, compacting machine dudes. That would probably be a little bit smarter of a process for me, but... Oh, well. Um, so we'll want a block of redstone. We will want a... Uh, one of these. And we want an RF tools machine. Uh, you, yeah. Let's make like a handful of these for a sec. Just because I know we're going to want a handful going forward. I don't know if I need a full stack of them, but maybe 10 ish. Does that sound good? I don't see why not. Cool. So up here, we can do a power cell. So that's easy enough. And then the part that's going to be a little bit hard is the card. So for this, it's extreme energy laser relay and Klein flask. And for that, we need this. And for that, we need this. And for that, we need this. So that shouldn't be too terrible to teach. Um, right, because you don't already have, you should probably learn paper. I don't know if I taught you paper already, did I? No, okay. So now you know paper, the Klein flask, I will get taught in a moment. Uh, I should probably teach you how to make a bunch of things. I'll come back after I do a lot of this teaching. All right, I think I've got this up and running now. Let's see if everything's gonna work. So this set of stuff into here with these guys. Now we're talking. Uh, what's this thing called? Tormented Enderman Head? So in theory, we should get one of those in a second. Now, what's it called? Uh, Ender Resonator. Sweet. So I program this into the slice and splice. So now you know how to make one of those, and I should be able to now make a card. Well, we should we should know how to make a climb flask now. Really? So let's teach you how to make back in this mode. So you need to know how to make a Klein flask, which you should have the stuff for. And now you should know how to make this thing, which you should have the stuff for. Nice. So going forward, I should be able to auto craft those. And we're getting, uh, we've officially run out of uh, slots in the molecular assembler. So we're going to need another one of those. But long story short, we now have a card. Uh, so can I request a power cell? That shouldn't be too big of a problem. It should only take a second to craft everything it needs for that. There it is, cool. So now we will link this card to link ID one. We'll put you down. We will give you power link up. Nice, set everything to out. So now we've got a new power cell and a new matter receiver. Okay, so now let's go visit the next planet, shall we? So I wanna establish spaces and then we'll move on to the next stage. So Tantalum is the next ore that we're gonna be looking for. So Tantalum ore is apparently found on Eris. And that is the only place that it is found. So let's figure out what Eris means. So for dilithium, we're gonna want a couple of these guys. Let's uh, get our spacesuit on. We're ready to go there. Uh, can I get some more rocket fuel? Hopefully, yes. Nice. That is cool. Um, we've got some dilithium crystals. Let's go pop up to our space station. And remember, the space station still has the rocket on it, so all we have to do now is fly this over to that location, right? So Tantalum is found on Eris, which I think is a moon, isn't it? Isn't Eris a moon? Ceres is a moon of Venus. Eris. Oh, Eris is a... Isn't that like a, a dwarf planet? I don't know, but that's the location of uh, Tantalum. So let's select that. 
Fuel cost, 238. Wow, that is a lot of fuel cost. Okay. Um, so that is uh, five stacks of dead lithium currently in the warp core. Okay. So uh, we should be able to get two Eris now, right? So let's warp to Eris. And if we look outside, we should see ourselves warping. Oh, that is cool. Look at that awesome effect. It's not like just like a loading screen. I bear, I, I missed this before, but oh, pfft, wow. Hey, neat. We made it. Cool. All right. So confirming, we've got a power cell, um, which has energy in it. We've got a matter receiver. How much uh, fuel did that use, by the way? By the by, I think that probably used actually not so much. Cool. All right. Well, we've got a lot of dilithium, so that's a good sign. I don't know what that means, that fuel cost. I don't know how much dilithium equals fuel, but apparently we're doing okay. Um, it's not one-to-one, -one, which is a good sign. Uh, so power cell, matter receiver, ready to roll. Um, yeah, let's go land on Eris. So make sure we've got fuel ready. One, two, three, and launch. I will meet you guys on Eris. So absolutely a vacuum, no atmospheric pressure, not breathable environment, which hopefully means there will not be any enemies on Eris, and uh, no scrambling to drop down a, uh, a destination teleporter and get the heck out of Dodge like I did on Mercury. Um, or is Eris, what is Eris? Is Eris a dwarf planet like Pluto, or is Eris uh, in the asteroid belt? I kind of forget. So there's bees on Eris, Bees can survive in uh, in this environment. Bees are funny. They're like, I need to see the sun. But it's okay if there's no oxygen or atmosphere at all. All right. Hey, look, we're on Eris. And yeah, as predicted, no mobs because no atmosphere. Sweet. So I guess if there's atmosphere, then there's mobs, which kind of makes sense. Um, this is moon turf. So Eris is kind of a moon. Maybe it's, maybe it's a moon. I don't know. I forget. I'd have to get on Google. But you're set to output power in all directions. Uh, you can be named Eris. And Tantalum is best found right around Y level 33. So let's pop down to that Y level. So we should be able to now easily teleport back and forth from here to Eris. Sweet. Cool. Uh, and then let's, you know, a decent distance away. I do love jumping on these planets and moons and whatever else they are. And let's just, uh, all right, derp. I don't have my uh, three by three and five by five thing ready. So we wanna get a magnet and you guys and you guys. Dilithium can go away. Eris, dial once. And kind of off in this general direction. We will dig down. And I'll meet you guys right around Y level 33-ish, unless I find something cool. So I figured we'd stop right around Y level 33 and start mining. So hey, speaking of, is this Tantalum more? Nice. We found Tantalum. Beautiful. Again, no idea how much I'm going to need. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit of a clue uh, of, of like what's a good amount of Tantalum. Do I need 50 stacks of it or do I need like six of it? I don't know. But uh, we have now officially managed to get ourselves some tantalum which is enough which is good enough for me right we've got tantalum more so let's do that and hey look the sun rises on this planet well that's neat i would imagine that to be the case at times i don't see a sun but it's bright out here so that's cool spiffy all right so let's get our rocket back onto our space station we now have the ability to teleport to this planet i might build a base on it off camera at some point um let's get you one two three and go and i will guys meet you at the uh, space station all right guys so uh coming in for a landing on the old space station and i think this is a pretty good wrapping up point 
for the episode. So how about we uh, wrap up here? We will come back next episode. We've got two more planets in this solar system at least to visit. Um, you know, obviously we can visit others too if we want. Um, so we've got to visit uh, zirconium and cadmium. So zirconium uh, is found on Mars. And cadmium ore is found on Neptune. Sweet. Okay. So those are two planets we're going to want to visit. I'm interested to see what Neptune looks like because Neptune is a gaseous planet. So I don't know if that's going to be like what that's going to be like. I have no idea. No idea. We'll find out next time, though. It might just be like a regular rocky world or maybe he did something fancy for gaseous planets. Mm -hmm. So for now, Dial 20 is sending off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time. Boop. No. Boop. And uh, explore two more planets and set up um, matter receivers on each. I'm going to start the auto crafting of a receiver. Missing glass fiber cables. Cool. You need to learn how to make those, don't you? For now, can I just make some? There. You won't need them for a while. Um, so yeah, we'll set up uh, the receiver. Start a power cell. Start and a power cell card. Missing empowered Inori crystals. You have to learn how to make those. Do you know how to make empowered Inori blocks? You do. So what I'm going to have to do is teach you how to convert those back to block into an individual item form. So for now, Daryl Toy signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.